Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today we're going to talk about Dungeons & Dragons, and we're going to talk about a question that needs to be thrown into the abyss and should never come out of any Dungeon Master's mouth any time in the future, okay? Um, uh, I'm going to get into it. Here's the question. The question is, how long have you been Dungeon Mastering? This question should never, ever be asked by anyone again, by any Dungeon Master again, period, end of sentence, okay? And the reason why is what we have learned from LairCon, DM Lair's recent panel on game design. All right, so uh, DM, uh, the DM Lair host, his name is Luke Hart, all right? Um, he made a major mistake in uh, his, in LairCon, okay? And he did something quite, quite cruel, I think, right? However, I want to say this here. He didn't do it because he's a bad person, right? And he didn't do it because he's uh, foolish. I think this, the thing he did, which is a bad thing, okay, was done from forward momentum, right? And I, I'm getting a, like getting a better understanding. Of, I learned from be, from my channel, right? Like, so one of the things is when you keep creating content and you keep moving the ball forward, you are bound to make mistakes, right? And when you do it publicly you are bound to have people see what you did that was wrong, right? It's just, it's, and if you, it's like, this is new. People think that this, you know, happened all the time. No, there are literally hundreds of thousands, if not, there are, there are low millions of creators in the world now, right? And they're all trying to put content up. They're all trying to, you know, move forward. And that's what, that's what Luke Hart from DMLayer, he just trying to move forward, right? And he made this major mistake, not from any ill will in his own heart, not from any foolishness that it, that he has, but just from doing stuff, right? I don't think he meant to do this thing, right? So I have much sympathy, and actually, I'm, I have a grown. Even though I'm saying that what he did was very cruel and very wrong, and warning you to never do it, right? I have a lot of sympathy and a lot of respect for Luke Hart. I think he's, I think he's either at or approaching 100 k in followers. He's really trying to. He's just like Nerd Immersion. He's one of these dudes who's just like all in, really trying to build his channel. And I see him for what he is. He's a, he's a hustler, right? Uh, not not a bad. I, I'm a rap fan, so whatever hustler is good, right? He's he's he hustles, right? He's he's very he's trying very hard to build his brand, and I'm all for that, right? Like I'm. Now, I don't have the time to do it the way he does, but he, he's all in, and I want to see uh, Dungeon Ma I want to see Dungeons & Dragons commentary grow, so I love this kind of energy, right? So I did want to get that out of the way here. All right, boy. So check out the link below. Actually, I'm going to explain it to you, so you don't have to check the link below, but hey, go give him, click on his thing and watch his, you know, watch the whole thing. It's very interesting, right? And uh, But like, I'm going to show you where... D DM Lair, Luke Hart, massively insults um, DM Coach with the question, how long you been DMing, right? So it's five five dudes uh, at, at LairCon all talking about game design, right? And so uh, Luke Hart says, hey, how long have you been DMing? And, Dun and Dungeon Master DM Coach, right, who also has, I think he's he's got quite, he doesn't have 100,000 subs, right, he's got way less than that, I think, um, so DM Coach says, um, oh, you know, I've only been DMing for five years, right, and, um, and Luke Hart's like, oh, right, yeah. and then DM Coach, I couldn't believe this, and this is the part that says, no Dungeon Master can ever ask this question, no Dungeon Denison that's a dungeon player. That's a Dungeons and Dragons player. No, du no, du D no Dungeons and Dragons player can ever ask anybody how long you've been dungeon master, right? Because of what can happen. This was brutal to watch, right? And so DM coach said, uh, so Luke Hart, you know, Luke Hart says, how long you've been DM? And he says five years. Luke Hart gives this like, uh, like, uh, oh, you know, and then DM coach is like, yeah, so whatever I say, take with a grain of salt. And in short, like DM Coach, he's at a panel, right? There are people who have come to hear what he has to say on game design. And he tells them at the beginning of the panel, do not listen to me. Like, basically, I'm paraphrasing. I, I feel like he, sh he wilts like a flower, right? And it's so powerful to see how damaging DM Lair's co comment to him is. 
and he says, yeah, you know, take what do I have to say. He, he just shouts, right? Like, literally with his words, he's like, mm, you know, it, it looks like false modesty. The reality is what, and you see, your words are some of the communication, but his wilting and his, his deference to his completely unwarranted deference to Luke Hart, right, just shouts to the room. I'm in this chair. I don't deserve to be in this chair. Do not listen to me. Nothing I say matters, right? And so Luke Hart, I don't think he meant to do it, but boy, did he do it, right? Just like, it was a swift, like, it was just a swift, brutal embarrassment, right, to to DM at the beginning of the panel, right? Making sure that everybody in the room knew that Luke Hart was, and then Luke Hart followed it up by saying, I've been dungeon mastering since high school, right? And just Luke Hart saying, I'm the king, this is the jester. Watch everyone. He, I gave him the seat, but it was only to up myself and down him, right? Absolutely, brutally, horribly embarrassing for DM Coach. Completely unwarranted grasp for praise on the part of Luke Hart. This question must die, right? And the reality is either you are intending, right? Like, so there's three things, right? Your dark shadow, right? And if you're a human being, I'm an evangelical Christian. I believe that all humans are broken, fundamentally broken, and will sin and harm whenever they can, right? Like, so, yeah. yeah. So either your your deepest, darkest, unconscious self is doing it to gain glory and shove somebody down, or you are consciously doing it to gain glory and shove someone down in the Dungeons and Dragons space, right? Or you're ignorant, right? You're ignorant of how damaging this question can be, right? So the reality is, it is critically important that this, that the question, how long have you been dungeon mastering, is thrown into the abyss by every single dungeon master on the planet. It's critical. It's critical. No one can ask this anymore right? Because the question is a silvery barb, right? It's just like this wicked thorn that will make someone bleed, right? Like, and it is useless. And, and, and now I give every, I think I've asked people this in the past and I know others of you in my audience have asked this. Everybody gets a pass, right? We didn't really know how damaging this could be, but now that has been shockingly clearly illustrated by Luke Hart at the expense of DM coach, nobody can ask this again. This is, this question is done, right? That is my opinion. What do you think? Do you think there's any value in the question, how long have you been dungeon mastering? Or do you see it for what I see it for right now, a horrible, sharp dagger used to virtually stab people who have DM'd less? That's what I think this thing is. And it, it and this question needs to be thrown in the abyss by every Dungeons and Dragons dungeon master on the planet to, right now. Right now, this needs to die, and never, you know, this needs to die. Go into the deep abyss, and then a team of Dungeons and Dragons adventurers needs to go down and seal it like, with a ritual, right? Like so that this question never shows up again. Oh, that's my opinion. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Are you going to keep asking this, or are you like me, and this will never come out of your mouth to another to another human being again? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Let me know in the comments below. Please consider liking and subscribing, and have a wonderful millennium.